My next guest is a very funny comedian who's kind of hit the jackpot this summer. He co-stars with Eddie Murphy in a movie called Boomerang. <laughs> this scene kind of sums up his character and the significance socially of pool. It's racial. Well, expand. All right, bet. Now, check it out. The white ball dominates everything, right? It knocks the shit out the yellow ball, the red ball, right? And the game's over when the white ball drives the black ball completely off the table. Now, why is that? I don't know, but I'm sure you tell me, my brother. <laughs> sure, you're right. Look, it's because of the white man's fear of the sexual potency of black yeah. balls. But you know, I'm starting a movie where I make a vagina talk. Hey, 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 hey! I'm hey, I'm joking. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> joking. But, <laughs> no, oh, no. Susan has said that. But now, I, look, let's get this out in the open. Because people out, I sit there and say I wouldn't be mad at him no more. A lot of people come up to me and ask if, uh, you know, me and I sit there, a friend, we cool, tell them we boys. Yeah. I taped your first show when you had Luther on here and yeah. Brooke Shields. Yeah. Man, I was like this at the TV, and I was with you through all your hairstyles. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> you my <mama! laughs> No, we just been waiting for the right time to do this. That's right. And you know why we've been waiting. Oh. And when they see your live act, they'll know why I had to wait. <laughs> Y'all seen the fly, right? Okay. Uh, uh huh. Big fans. Big fans. Um, okay. First of all, let's start off by talking about the character. Yeah. Uh, do you know anybody like that? In Boomerang? Yeah. Yeah, you know, brothers that sit around talking, yeah, man, I'm seeing the world. <laughs> it's an essence. <laughs> you know them brothers, that, it's the brothers that roll, I know you get this brother that roll up with you all the time, just got out of jail. <laughs> and always got something for you, though, all right? Hey, what's up, brother? Look, we got to rise as a people, okay? <laughs> if we cannot do that, then we are intercepting our luck. <laughs> See, if we do that, we grow, we gonna be all right. Now, look here, you got five dollars I can borrow. Oh, well, when you all did the movie, did you hang out a lot? Oh yeah, Eddie was cool, man. It was. It just. I just thought I never would be working with him. So you know, it, it, but to hang out, I mean, he fed us. Like, if you notice, I look real fat in Boomerang, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Eddie doing 48 hours, like how he looked in 48 hours. They fed me, man. And maybe I came out there all swollen, man, so I wouldn't look good, man. But it was cool because we would go over his house, man. And you know, Eddie's place is laid, man. Yeah. And. Which is food. New York or Jersey or yeah, Jersey. 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 The food, man, was happening every day. I, you walk in this house, you get like a little girl, though. Because, you know, I ain't want to leave, man. I was sitting there at the table like this. Y'all ain't more dessert, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take a girl up there? I, man, I ain't taking no girl to Eddie's house. What? How am I going to take a girl to Eddie's house? This man got a bowling alley. <laughs> He got a music studio. <laughs> hey, how you gonna leave? You gonna take your girl to Eddie's house and then go back to your apartment? That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. You take a girl, she be like, won't you just go without me? I'll be there. I gotta talk to Eddie about something. <laughs> hey, you better bring your ass on right here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a commercial, come right back All with right, more man. Martin Lawrence. Should we talk more about the movie? Oh, you know what? Uh, Money told me you was uh, a big film buff from the old days. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Mac, man. I, Is everybody, that your favorite? It, nah, but, you know, it was about, the Mac was about pimps. I never wanted to be a pimp. It's just the way, Max Julian, you remember Max yeah, Julian, how absolutely. he talked? You know, he used to put rap on women like, you know, you gotta believe in me, baby, you know? <laughs> you just gotta believe, all right? Everything that I say, that I do. 
I'm gonna get five more women like you, but everything that I say and do, I mean, that's just a big fan. We used to do that on the set all the time, me, Eddie Murphy. Eddie could, you know, he's a, like, perfect mimic, man. Yeah, and it he loves scary. all that old stuff, too. Yeah, it was, uh, Pryor was my man, though, in the Mac, remember? Yeah, yeah absolutely. When, he, absolutely. when the cops said, go on, run, go on, run. I ain't running no way, because I ain't no track star. You gonna shoot me, you gonna shoot me in the ass, baby. Right? Like, no, 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 no. Did you all remember Martin on Star Search? Hey, <laughs> oh, two people. <laughs> you remember me on Star Search? How many times was you on there? One time, two times. See, that's them people, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. She saw it once and she saw it once. Yeah, I had one one time and then, and you know, and then I lost, you know, and... Nah, it helped my career, though. Because I went on to a series, What's Happening Now. But, you know, oh, yeah. I had thought, yeah. but Star Search, man, it was it was a good time for me, man. Serious, it was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful, man. How you bring up Star Search? Well, you just... must have saw my set, man. It was good, though. I enjoyed it. I was a brother I... like this. Um, jewelry. <laughs> good night. <laughs> they didn't get it. I was like, hey, that's why I lost. He has a series coming up in the fall. Yeah, called Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I watched the pilot episode, and I knew what he was doing because they had told me about it. it I liken it to coming to America, where you play a lot of different characters, and sometimes you interact with yourself. Yeah. And I'm saying, how is Martin gonna do this every week, right? Yeah. And I watched the pilot. Homie pulls it off. I mean, and that Shanae character. Yeah, yeah. He plays a girl across the hall, right? Yeah, she li she lives next door to me, but it's the roundaway girl, you know, the neighborhood LL Cool J's roundaway girl, the girl with the earrings and the women that the young girls that always have the hairdo mm -hmm. and just know how to coordinate everything that they dress and just got much attitude. How you doing, Arcadio? How you doing? <laughs> oh, look at Arcadio. He look good, Audi. <laughs> I mean, you know that girl, man. Yes. And yes. then, you know, you get, and don't speak, don't, like if a roundaway girl come up to you and you say hello and you don't speak, uh -huh. oh, my goodness. I said, y'all, I know you ain't gonna try to not speak with your little tall self. He make me <laughs> sick. <laughs> I mean, they just, they, I love that girl, man. Yeah. I love him, man. I can't date him, though. You know? Really? I just can't date him because, you know, you can take him to a restaurant, man. You want something to eat? I don't care what you, I mean, do they got fresh fries here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love them, man. They're real cool. <laughs> the show is going to do well. Now, when will they be able to see it? Uh, this fall. This coming fall. Martin, we have a hell of a cast. Tommy Ford, my man who's in the audience. Tommy Ford from Harlem Nights. Give him yeah. a round of applause. Yeah, that was my brother in Harlem Nights. Yeah, that was your brother. That Harlem was my brother Knight. in Harlem Nights. Yeah, yes. so he's on the series. Uh, uh, Tisha Campbell. Wave to him, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell plays my girlfriend, uh, Tashina Arnold from Ryan's Hope and All My Children, and Carl Payne from, uh, who used to play Cockroach on Cosby. So we got a hell of a cast, man, and we looking yeah. to have fun and make you laugh. Every week is fresh, and we coming at you. Yeah. I mentioned it at the start of the interview. Did anybody see his one-night stand on HBO where he did a character called The Fly? Yeah. How did you come up with that? You know, it's very funny how I came up with the fly. I was sitting there, man, I had wanted the one night stand bad. I said, you know, the one night stand could change my life, my career. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting there going over relationships and right down laying on the floor writing. And uh, I happened to look over at the television and um, um, I, was on a, I was on a part called Love. You know, when you write material, I was on a part called Love. And I looked over at the television and I said, that's some love for your ass. I mean, and then I said, <laughs> and it was, you remember when he was all, mm, <laughs> and it was white people and I said now only white people can do that because if it was black people ah, uh -uh, you ain't we ain't gonna make it, it just, uh. and so I, I wrote it and it was like hey so I was like that's some love for your ass because the ear fell off and the woman hugged him on the side the ear fell off boy. I'm sorry man my lady ear fall off I'm like this look put it in your, my pocket but, uh, he ain't getting no hug that's what that's we shaking hands like a man <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang, Martin Lawrence, go check him out!